let's go through the menu. We already have a we already have a board here, which is going to serve us really well for showing you what happens. So over here in the menu, I'm going to click on that. I can start a new project. I can go back to my projects. I can duplicate this project, or I can do some other things. What I can do is go and view a grid, which if I select this, it will show me a grid, which I then have control over. And this is really helpful for aligning things. This is good for finding how much space you have in between elements. For example, I know I have about a square here on the left, a square here on the right, which really helps me align these little circles here. And I can take that off or I can turn on my rulers and my guides. And you can see a quick key command for that is shift are and you can see there are rulers here you can see how much space is being taken up when i have this selected and then what's really really cool about rulers and guides is if i want to start creating much more robust grid systems i can take my cursor up here and you can see it will change to a different icon and if i click and drag i will be able to create guides that will snap to different elements and i can do this from the left and the right side so all i'm doing is clicking and dragging from the ruler and I can start creating a grid. And as you can see, if I zoom in right now, it's not snapped, but if I move it and snap it, it snaps into place against the grid line, just like that. You can see that it highlighted that line when I did that. And so now it is snapped against this line. And that's really, really helpful. And we'll go into more detail about that later. If you ever don't want them, you can just click on them and hit delete. Just like anything else, I can click on it, I can hit delete and it's no worries. Again, that quick command is shift and R and you can see the rulers go away. And if I hit shift and R to bring them back, another important thing to note is that if I do have a guide, which you can see right here in red, if I hit shift R, it goes away. So even if I've created a guide and I just think they're kind of distracting, I wanna get rid of them, I can just hit shift R. And then if I need them back, shift R, bring them back. Or you can go up into the menu settings, like I said, and go back to uh, view and just turn them off. Now, margin is actually turned on right now, but we do have to define it. So right now, the project is set for the margin to exist, but we haven't given it any details yet. So at least we know that it's on. That's a great sign. Let me go over here and click on the artboard. And then if I click on margin over here in the right side panel, you can see this little plus. I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And you can see the margin has populated. It's this very light, purple color and you see that it's defaulted to 54 all around and i can also unlink these settings if i wanted the top to be a little bit more if i wanted the left let's say the right page of a book maybe we want the left margin to be a little bit more because we have that space that's going to be going in a book now this is not for a book but this is just for an example uh, but if i ever wanted to link these for example i can go to let's say 25 is pretty standard uh, this is probably even more than you would need, but you can see it's about right where uh, the, the border, the margin is there. And this will really help you if you're creating more stationary style stuff. If you ever don't need it, you can simply just go and take it off. If you've ever added margin and you can't see it or find it, make sure you go up into your menu settings, your view settings, and make sure that margin is selected. If it's not selected, it just means it's hidden right now.